Hi, my name is Matt and I'm going to guide you through a simple voxel installation. For this you'll need your voxel power supply, voxel power module, a power cable, voxel or voxel flight, two Wi-Fi antennas, and a micro USB cable. Before getting started it's important to keep EST safety in mind. I'm using an ESD mat and I'm grounded to keep our hardware safe. The first step in the setup is to connect the power module to the power cable. The connector is located on the power module's board, as demonstrated. Next, plug the power cable into the power input on your voxel board. Make sure to use the right connector, as using the wrong one could damage the board. The one for voxel flight is shown now. If you're using voxel, the connector is located on the side of the board, as demonstrated now. The next step in the setup is to connect the voxel power supply to the power module. This can be done using these yellow connectors. Next, connect the Wi-Fi antennas on the back of the board. The inputs for the antennas are down here. It's these two small circles. Go ahead and push those antennas onto there until you hear the audible click. The last step is to connect the micro USB cable to the bottom of the board. Then connect the other end to the computer that you'll be using for the software installation and connect the voxel power supply to your wall outlet. I'll then meet you on the computer for the software installation. Okay, here we are on Ubuntu version 18.4.5. And on the right side, I've got the Quick Start open, which has all the information you'll need to get the software set up. So first, open a new terminal window, and we need to install the Android Debug Bridge, which we will use to connect to Voxel. So using the sudo command, you can paste in um, what's on the Quick Start page and type in your password to get that set up. For me, it'll say I already have it installed. For you, just type in yes or Y and hit enter to, click, or to get that installed. Um, it's recommended to create a new UDEV rule on the host computer if you don't have root privileges. This is because the Android debug bridge requires root privileges in order to run. So once you've got that all done, don't forget to uh, exit by typing in exit. And we can now check for devices by typing in ADB devices. And as you can see, since we have our voxel plugged in via USB to the computer, our device pops up right there. By typing in ADB shell, we can get access to the voxel shell. And this starts an SH shell, as you will see right here with echo high. Um, and we can, generally it's better to have a bash shell, which we can start up by typing bash. And as you can see, the Yocto prompt pops up and um, echo high works again. So that's how to do a quick Voxel hardware setup and how to connect to Voxel via ADB on the host computer. Thanks for watching.